Hey guys, welcome. Today we will see how to generate initial velocity for rigid body in Blender. We will see how to move this cube with some velocity to hit the top. Before going ahead, let's see how to create rigid bodies in Blender. Open Blender, select the default cube and translate it in J direction 1 unit such that its base resting on XY plane. Now with the cube selected, go to physics tab and activate rigid body. Under the rigid body type, select active. Now play the animation. This moves the cube downward direction because the gravity is in that direction. To see or to change the gravity direction, go to scene properties menu and expand gravity. Here you can see that the default gravity direction is in negative jet direction. Now let's change and see gravity in different direction. This moves the cube in positive x direction. And this moves the cube in positive y direction. Let's go back and set the gravity in negative z direction. Now insert a base plane on which the rigid bodies rest and slide. Then scale and adjust the position of the plane to fit the target. With the plane selected, go to the physics tab and activate rigid body. Under rigid body type, select passive. Since it is our base, so it should not move. Now if you play the animation, nothing will move. Since base is passive and cube is resting on the base. If you change the rigid body type as active for the base plane and run the animation, both plane and cube will move in the direction of the gravity. Here it is negative z direction. Also, if you deactivate rigid body for plane and play the animation, cube alone will move in the direction of gravity and it pass through the plane. Now let's go back and activate rigid body for plane and set type as passive. Then select cube 1, duplicate and translate it in y direction some distance. This is our target. Since cube 1 is a rigid body, the duplicated object is also a rigid body. As we have already seen, we can move objects by changing the gravity direction. But it will not solve a problem here, since all the objects move in the direction of gravity with the same velocity. This you can see by changing the gravity direction to y. All the objects are moving the same velocity. Now let's set the gravity in default negative z direction. However, our objective is to move cube 1 with some velocity and hit the target cube in y direction. This can be done by keyframing the object location in the direction of motion and with an option called animated under rigid body settings. Let's do that. With cube 1 selected, keyframe its location at keyframe 1. We are going to use keyframe 1 and 4 to create initial velocity here. Now with cube 1 selected, under physics tab, go to rigid body settings Check the animated radio button and keyframe it. This completes keyframe 1. Now with cube 1 selected, go to keyframe 4. 
then translate cube 1 in y direction some distance and keyframe its location again. Now go to rigid body settings and uncheck the animated radio button and keyframe it. Now if you go back and play the animation, cube 1 comes with some velocity and hits the target. To decrease the velocity of cube 1, just move the keyframe 4 away from keyframe 1. Now go back and run the animation. Cube 1 moves slowly towards the target. To increase the velocity within keyframes 1 and 4, Select cube 1, then go to keyframe 4, go to rigid body settings and check animated radio button. Now at keyframe 4, move cube 1 further in the direction of motion and keyframe its location. Now go back to rigid body settings, uncheck animated radio button. Then go back and play the animation. Now cube 1 should move super fast towards the target. Here also to reduce the velocity, just move keyframe 4 away from keyframe 1. Now that's how with keyframes and animated options, we can create some initial velocity for a rigid body. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.